I've seen so many videos on YouTube telling me where to get St. George's cape, his tower shield, his bracers, his trousers, his armor, his helmet, and the holy sword. The holy sword is the only one that you can find in a fixed location, like one place, and that is by defeating the River Raid champion in the River D River. So all you have to do is go to that like final fortress, fight the guy, fight the champion, and once you defeat him, you'll get the holy sword. It's really that simple. The other six, however, have a little bit more of a unique pattern. Now, the reason why people are so confused is that a lot of people are showcasing like, oh, you get this thing from this chest at this location, which is not entirely true. All you have to do is, in each of the rivers, there are two pieces of armor, right? In River X, there is the cape and the tower shield. Now, all you have to do is go to the military locations, the military kind of like raid locations. And you can tell they are a military location based on the red flags that are like by the docks and the area and if there's like a castle involved. I mean, it's pretty easy to tell the difference between a monastery, a village, and a military location. And all you have to do is go to each military location that you find on the river. So just go there, kill everyone, loot all the chests until your inventory is full. Unfortunately, when your inventory is full and you have too many foreign supplies, you can't loot any more chests. So then you have to kind of like go back into your ship and then go back home and then start a new raid to come back and kind of continue. And you'll notice that once you do all of the military locations, at least for the first time, you will find yourself getting all the St. George's armor from the big chests that you can loot in each of those military locations. So like, let's say there's like six locations, just do all of them once, and the odds are you will find both pieces of the St. George's armor in each location. So in River X, it's the cape and the tower shield. In River Severn, you find the bracers and the trousers. And in River D, which is the final one, you get George's armor and his helmet. Just make sure you search the whole map because on River D there is like a kind of like hidden military location at like the bottom side of the map that I originally didn't find and I was like how the hell do you find this thing and literally um, replaying certain like places over and over doesn't really guarantee that you're going to get the armor. You have to go to the location when it still has the like the the red icon the like the when you have to complete it for the first time. That is only when the St. George's armor will actually drop. I hope this video was helpful. Just keep farming, do all the military locations on all the rivers, and trust me, you'll have the full armor set in no time. So just go out there, collect your armor, and thank you for watching.